The U.S. Customs and Border Protection has launched an investigation into a secret Facebook group where thousands of Border Patrol agents posted sexist memes and joked about migrant deaths. Its discovery comes as President Trump signs a humanitarian aid package for the border and raises new questions about migrant care. Jeff Begay's reports. The Facebook group was dubbed I'm 1015, which is Border Patrol code for aliens in custody. Recently, one of the group's 9,500 members posted this photo of a dead migrant and his 23-month-old daughter and asked if it was fake because the bodies were so clean. In another post, group members responded with indifference to the death in Border Patrol custody of a 16-year-old Guatemalan migrant. If he dies, he dies. According to the media organization ProPublica, there were lewd memes and sexist posts, some of which were aimed at members of Congress, including New York Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. Today, she tweeted, they're threatening violence on members of Congress. How do you think they're treating caged children and families? She was part of a congressional delegation that toured the detention facility in Clinton, Texas today. Hispanic Caucus Chairman Joaquin Castro called for an investigation of the Facebook posts. That shows, unfortunately, that there are many within CBP who become desensitized to the point of being dangerous to the migrants in their care and to their co-workers. Today, President Trump defended the Border Patrol. The Border Patrol, they're patriots, they're great people. They love our country. They know what's coming in. CBP officials call the Facebook posts completely inappropriate. Chief of Operations Brian Hastings says an investigation is underway. And each one of those individuals, if, you know, if they are found to have done these, the appropriate disciplinary actions will be taken. Just like police departments across the country, the union that represents CBP agents says that it has cautioned its members about how they use social media. The union also says that that Facebook group does a disservice to all CBP agents. Tanya. Jeff, the inspector general is expected to release the results of investigation into conditions at that Clint, Texas border facility this week. Do we have any more information about this report and when we can expect it? Well, according to my sources, this report is going to mirror what has been found in other recent reports by the DHS OIG, the Inspector General's office. They look into these uh, detention facilities. They're doing investigations there. And what they've consistently found, based on some of the reports that we've seen lately, are overcrowding conditions, the kinds of conditions that can lead to violence, at least that in the words of some of the CBP agents who work in some of these uh, uh, facilities, some of these uh, under some of these conditions. So uh, what we will hear is is really more of the same. Now, we don't have uh, the timing for this particular report that we're waiting for. We're told that it's going to come out sometime this week. And again, we'll spell some some spell out some of some of these similar examples that we've seen in recent reports. All right, Jeff Piquet, thank you so much for that.